Hey there YouTube, long time no see. I like to watch anime, I'm not gonna shy away from that fact, and there are some anime that are super super popular that I haven't seen yet. This was the case with Attack on Titan, so I made a video about that a while ago. Just things that I learned about Attack on Titan through uh, the world of Tumblr. And there's another anime that's quite popular that I haven't seen, but I've seen a lot of it on Tumblr. So this time I'm going to bring you everything I know about Kill a Kill from Tumblr. Let me be clear, I have not seen this show at all. I've only seen things from Tumblr. So if you were to ask me, hey Christy Lou, have you seen Kill a Kill? I would answer no. So with that out of the way, these are all the things I know about Kill a Kill from Tumblr. First thing you should know about this show is that it is either super feminist or super anti-feminist. I don't think anybody's really come to a conclusion on that. So it's either really good or really bad. There are two characters that seem to be the only two characters that matter. Um, they're, they, I think their names are Satsuki and Ryoko. I don't know which one is which. Um, sometimes I think I know who is who, and then something else messes me up. One of them wears white. One of them wears a school uniform that would never be approved by a school. The thing you need to know about the one in white is that her eyebrow game is super strong. Like, strongest eyebrow game in all of anime. If you cosplay this character, the rest of your costume can be complete crap. But if your eyebrows aren't right, mm-mm. The story of this anime is that there's two girls and they're always standing far apart from each other. So this means that they're enemies because why else would you stand far apart from each other? They have to fight each other and they have these robot suits that attach themselves to the girls and um, there's basically nothing to them. And there's things on the shoulders. The shoulders are very pronounced. There's like more shoulder than there is anything else. Basically, they're sexy Gundams. I think they fight each other probably to the death. Um, and then in the second season, if there's even a second season, I don't know, they become unlikely friends and have to fight some other big evil that's more powerful than the other ones. I think the one in the white is the bad guy, and the one in the blue is the hero? Maybe? There's Nudist Beach, where I don't know, is this part of the anime, or is this a thing that's associated with it? I don't know. But it basically, it looks like police officers with no clothes. I think the nudist beach is the, uh, like, nudist police force, where I just think it's a normal thing, where the police are just naked. Um, so the thing I can take away from Kill the Kill is just everyone's naked. There's something about Germans in this, and it gets kind of weird. There's people with weird clothes, and there's singers, and... I don't know what this world is trying to build, but it's just very confusing. And also I think there's a girl who really likes bread. And the greatest thing that I have learned from Tumblr about Kill a Kill is that it has the exact same plot line as Sonic Adventures 2. Links in the description if you want to find out what that's all about. Basically, that's everything I know about Kill a Kill. I don't know if I'm gonna watch this one. I watched Attack on Titan after I made the video, and it was amazing. I don't know how amazing Kill a Kill's gonna be. Let me know in the comments if you watch Kill a Kill, and if I should watch it. Before I go, I have two things. Number one is if you're going to Anime USA, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there all weekend. I don't know when I'm gonna be there on Friday, probably in the evening. But I will be at... Anime USA all weekend, in the first weekend of October. I'll be cosplaying. I'm probably gonna wear my Sailor Venus costume on Friday, my Pokemon costume on Sunday, and Saturday is my super secret cosplay that I've been working on, um, where if you follow my Instagram or any of my social media, you've probably seen pictures of it pop up, and um, try to guess what it is, because it's gonna be really cool, and I'm really proud of it so far. Second thing is that I have a podcast with one of my friends. It's called the Fake Geek Girls Podcast. We are not fake geek girls, we're huge nerds. And that's the point. I try to do the podcast weekly. Um, we have a Twitter, but also I tweet it on my account and I also post it on my Facebook a lot. So you can 
follow any of those things. I'll put a link to like our lips and feed so you can just listen to all the episodes if you want, see what it's all about. It's great. I have a lot of fi fun doing it. It's like a dream come true for me. So please listen. That is all I've got for you guys today. I'm Christy Lou. Till next time, matane!